Right, welcome to another video. This time we're dealing with Windows 8 again, and I found a little problem after I've installed my Windows 8 consumer preview. I can demonstrate the problem I have if I select the desktop, and you'll see here that I've got a new text document, so I'm just gonna open that up. Now, bearing in mind I'm in the UK, so when I shift and at for my email, I'm getting quotation, and if I shift and to, I'm getting the at. Now, Basically what's happened is that my keyboard is set for US. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change your keyboard settings to your relevant country. All we're going to do on the desktop is we're going to go down to the bottom right corner and that's going to open up the side menu. We're then going to go to settings. So we left click on settings and up at the top here you'll see control panel. So we select control panel. That's going to open up a familiar interface for you if you've been using Windows 7. We're going to be looking at clock, language and region, and under there you'll see change input methods. So we're going to select that. It's a slightly different layout to Windows 7 and Vista. And what we've got here, as you can see, we've got English, United States. So I'm going to add the UK. So I click on add a language. This is going to bring up a whole new list of languages I can choose. So I'm going to go down to English, double click English, and you can see all the different English languages we can choose from here. So I'm gonna look for the United Kingdom, double click. And you can see that's added the UK. Now I can highlight that and move it up. What I like to do is I just remove the US just so that we don't accidentally change that over with a keystroke. So if we now close out of there and go back to our text document, shift at, and shift at, and shift to is the quotation marks. Very common problem with Windows once it's been installed if you if it hasn't selected the right country. So that's how we change the keyboard settings and I'd like to thank you for watching.